This is my favorite microscope in the whole center. It's called the Transmission Electron Microscope, or TEM. It's so big! The TEM is the tallest microscope in the center, but it images some of the smallest structures. Before I can explain how this microscope works, I need to show you how a sample is prepared. Let's go into the lab and do some science. Now, Annabelle, I need you to get into this vial. Samples for the TEM are fixed with a variety of chemicals. These chemicals cross-link the proteins, lipids, and DNA molecules in the sample so that the structure is locked in place. I'm too young to die. I will haunt you. Next, the sample gets dehydrated to remove all the water molecules. And finally, it gets infiltrated with resin, which is kind of like a liquid plastic. We put the sample into molds and place them in the oven. Then ta-da, our sample is ready for the next step. I look like one of those mosquitoes in Amber from Jurassic Park. To be imaged in the TEM, samples have to be really thin, like less than 100 nanometers in thickness. To cut these really thin sections, we use an instrument called an ultramicrotome. Then we put them on special metal discs called TEM grids. Now they're ready to image. I don't think I like TEM. That seems like a lot of work. But wait until you see the images. Believe me, it's worth it. The TEM grid goes into the microscope like this. What was that? Those are vacuum pumps. For TEMs to work properly, you have to remove almost all the air molecules inside the column. Otherwise, the air molecules interfere with the electron beam that is used to illuminate the sample. The electrons are generated up at the top, and they shoot down the column and through the section on the grid. The electrons are transmitted through the sample. So that's why it's called transmission electron microscope. Makes perfect sense. Unlike light microscopes that use glass lenses, electron microscopes use electromagnets to form and magnify an image. This magnified image hits a camera located all the way under the column, and an image appears on the computer monitor. So what do my guts look like on the TEM? Let's take a look. With the TEM, you can see all your internal details. Here's some pictures. Your organelles are really cool looking, Annabelle. See, here's some mitochondria. Oh, and there's a Golgi. And here's one of your chloroplasts. Did you know, Annabelle, that besides looking at organelles inside cells, you can also use the TEM to look at other really, really tiny things like bacteria, viruses, and proteins? Uh, I think I'd appreciate this better if I wasn't dead. <laughs>